building software now is pretty much a Lego bricks, building and constructing each part that makes sense for your system. So identity, you know, who is this person? You have the access management piece, so once you know who a person is, you know, what can they actually do? Should they be allowed to access a particular thing? The name of the game is least permissive. So you want to narrow down the permissions that you're giving to only what is needed. In order to do that, you need to have some kind of help in understanding what permissions are actually being used versus how much are being granted. And actually, I a lot of times will say that the fundamental feature that a service mesh brings is identity. We need application identity in a runtime authenticatable way everywhere, ubiquitously. And then there's actually a third piece to that, which isn't generally talked about, which is the audit side. So you know who the person is, they tried to do something, but then what did they actually do? And in what context was it allowed, denied? And these, this piece, which is kind of the silent third piece of IAM. And it's the decoupling of those components into specialized services. We're seeing end user identity being used more pervasively in the system. And it used to be that a request would come in the front door and at my API gateway, I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna validate and authenticate that end user and then it's gonna go into my infrastructure and like, good luck. Now we actually are passing that all the way through and at each step we're authenticating and authorizing that that user in session can do the thing that my service is about to do. Not just at the front door, but all the way through. Sysdig found that over 90% of permissions granted are not being used. So let's lower that number a little bit.